My name is Ivy Chilimo. I am a lifestyle content creator and you're hanging out with me on the store. During the presidential, the deputy presidential debate, I was, I like politics generally, so I was just tweeting, you know, and now it's tweeting because you have to keep going when the questions are being asked. Then I just tweeted the name and forgot about it. Then I think it was on the 13th during the inauguration, my best friend texts me. She's like, bro, you're trending on Twitter. And then my phone went off and I wasn't in a place to charge it. So in, at the back of my mind, I'm like, trending on Twitter, why? Who trends on Twitter for good things? No one. And then after that, everything went silent for some time. Like, guys knew who I was, a little, little here and there. And then everything just went quiet. And then he went on live TV and said, I want to, I would actually, I told my sons to look for that girl who came up with the name Ricky G. That right there was now everyone telling me Una Taftua. And then now fake son's account yeah. DMing me like, oh, my father is looking for you. Can I have your number? Yeah. But luckily I knew the son's account a bit prior. So when, he, when I saw that, he sent me the video and he's like, oh, by the way, can we one, two, three? And then, yeah, and then everything else started flowing from then. One day he just told me, clear your Monday. Um, he would like to meet you on Monday at 9 a.m. at Harambe Annex. Then I met him. He's very easy, extremely easy, very chill, and very friendly. When he called me, we talked. Then he asked me, what can I do for you? And the thing was, I was just like, um, I'd like you, since I'm finishing uni, I'd like you to give me a job. He asked me, any particular job? Or I said, I want to work in your comms department. And yeah, I got a job in the communications department of the ODP. I studied law at the Catholic University of East Africa. And here yeah, now I'm working in the communications department. <laughs> I wake up at 5.30. I shower, get ready, do my makeup, dress up, have breakfast. Nangana with the Nairobi traffic till I get to work. I get to office anytime between 8 and 8.15. Then work till 1, break for lunch, get back to the office at 2, then break off at 5. Either like I might meet my friends for either dinner or something or just go home, read a book and chill. Basically, nothing much. Craziest things I've had since I found faith. I was given a boyfriend by some guy. So he tweets, um, this is my favorite. He picked a picture from my Instagram, posts it on his Twitter, a new account and says, this is the best picture I've ever taken of you and I can't believe your parents told you to leave me. So when that came out, it blew up because every, the guy who tweeted that was like, Ata niliwambia inge maliza, ata ije maliza skutatu, you know? At first I ignored, until now he kept posting more pictures of me, giving statements that are not factual because he doesn't know me, I don't know him, we've never met before. I just told him, I will take legal action if you don't stop. And then he changed his name. He changed his account, deleted the tweets, and everything went quiet after that. I feel sometimes it's very invasive, you know, because before I'd wake, I'd walk into a place and no one knows who I am, and I'm comfortable with that. Like, I'd be able to be that person who'd just take out my camera, do my thing. It's very invasive because it's now limits where you should go. And I'm a, I'm a very outgoing person. So generally, I have to now watch the spaces I'm at, the places I be, my friends also have to do the same because like my best friend everyone knew when they see her they see me when you see her you see me so it was all not everyone has to watch their space we have to be like oh my god so i'm seeing someone currently he supports me generally but he's not the type to be in the scene in public being a lifestyle content creator was something i actually genuinely enjoyed and it's because i also had so much time but now i think because it's my second week at work I'm still trying to learn the ropes before like because when I settle in I'll know I have time from this day to this day where I can make content. I haven't stopped but I wouldn't say it's as often as it used to be because work and the schedules before I know what I'm supposed to do and when to do it 
I put that on a break for a minute, but I'll be back. Everyone's, everyone looks happy on Instagram. Everyone looks like they're thriving. But in real sense, if you come down, most people are not doing well. Because it's easy when you just all smile and then you're just like, and then it's done. My Instagram shows 100% good days, but in person you don't have 100% good days. Things people don't know about me. One, I don't know how to dance to save my life. I can't dance to save my life. Ombachi and me, done. I'm a really good swimmer. I can sing. I am five foot nine. Because I know I look shorter in my pictures. So everyone meets me and they're always like, you're this tall. Same thing you told me. I'm like, wow, you're so tall. The last thing, I bite my nails. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. Gender-based violence doesn't always have to be like physical violence, but also emotional abuse, psychological and physiological abuse. It's something very, it keeps growing every time, you know? And women empowerment will help reduce gender-based violence. So while I'm working where I am, I will do my best to join or start causes that support that particular cause. You never know when it's gonna be your lucky day. And I feel like raining on someone's luck is something, it's a deep-rooted and personal problem. Because you shouldn't feel bad when you see someone else succeeding, you know? Because at the end of the day, your day is coming. And when it comes, you'll expect people to cheer you on. And I didn't get it necessarily because I'm a woman. I think I got it because he vibed with the name, you know, it was like, this makes me look cool. It made him look relatable. He termed it as innovation. When it's yours, it's yours. If it's coming, it's definitely gonna come. Doesn't matter what path it takes, it's gonna come at the end of the day. Wow. Joy Candy, Lavendai Kama, Seth God. I like the videos he shoots. Yeah, I think those three people really. And they're all in fashion, lifestyle. Oh, what is my future, what's the future plan? I expect to have risen a rank in my job. I hope that my content creation will be higher in terms of numbers, in terms of reach, in terms of quality. And I have goals already set because I had to go down to the drawing board because to this year surpassed everything I wanted. So I set a goal between this November and June because June is my birthday. I hope to have achieved half of what I've set as goals by next year, June. <laughs> Amen, sister. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>